one, we're going to verify this trig identity. Uh, we want the left-hand side to equal the right-hand side. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and write everything in terms of tangent, since we have tangent here on the right-hand side. So let's rewrite this as tan of alpha plus tan of beta divided by uh, 1 divided by tan of alpha plus 1 divided by tan of beta. The next step is to go ahead and get the common denominator for this part. So we still have tan of alpha plus tan of beta. Now your common denominator is going to be tan alpha times tan of beta because they're different. Now usually with this you just cross up this way when you get the common denominator. So basically, um, if your old denominator is tan of alpha, you need to add the tan of beta. So you have to also multiply the numerator by tan of beta. So that's why you can cross. So we have now tan of beta plus tan of alpha. Now we're going to divide this. So we have uh, A divided by B divided by C. So this is A, B, and C. So we can uh, write this as A, keep, change, flip. You want to put A in fraction form. So that's what I'm going to write. I'm going to write tan, I keep, and I'm going to say times, and then flip these two. So it's going to be tan of alpha. Um, divide it by tan, or well, tan of alpha, tan of beta, sorry. Divide it by tan alpha plus tan of beta. All right. I go ahead and put this over one. So what happens is these two cancel, and now we're just left with that, which is this. Let me write it a little better. 10 of alpha times 10 of beta. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.